From the Second Street Dreams Audio Network, this is Staccato, quick notes dotting the classical music landscape. I'm Judlin Gibson. Piano Day, 2023. Pianist Anthony Tobin. He's part of a trio of pianists who'll be celebrating Piano Day with the Austin Chamber Ensemble on April 1st. That's a few days after the official international celebration of Piano Day on March 29th. It's the 88th day of the year, which corresponds nicely with the 88 keys on the piano. The actual instrument started out in 1700, invented by Bartolomeo Cristofori of Italy, who was not happy with the limits of the harpsichord. 323 years later, I walked into the Steinway Piano Gallery. There were more than 50 pianos in the showroom, most have already been sold, with prices ranging from 30000 to one hundred k. Matthew Bird is the VP of Retail for Steinway Piano Gallery for Austin and San Antonio. Pianos, as far as sales went, there was a, they got kind of stagnant, but when the pandemic hit, we saw this huge increase in piano sales. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that we're all getting back to what we love. We're all taking time out for ourselves now. Mm -hmm. And so we're seeing people, like my wife, for example, she works from home. So before she might have a hour commute, well, now she has that extra hour. So there's a lot of folks out there that that extra time they're getting back to playing, getting back to what they love to do. Bird says celebrity musicians from the pop world to classical music often design and order their own pianos while universities and some school districts are trying to get as many Steinway pianos as possible. So Houston Tilts is in all, is in all Steinway schools. So these are universities that chose Steinway pianos exclusively. Uh, one of the oldest conservatories in the United States is Oberlin, but the list goes on. You'll Harvard, Yale, Juilliard, some of the most famous schools, they only use Steinway. University of Texas at Austin, their school, they want to go all Steinway. They predominantly use Steinway now. Uh, they are kind of in the process of, of going, of being able to obtain all Steinways. And what's so special about Steinways? The sound, the touch. It's the two key ingredients for what make the best pianos in the world. <laughs> That's a concert Steinway Model D. Now you guys are building pianos that are able to live stream. Correct. So we currently have the most advanced piano on the planet Earth. One of the things that we started developing and working on was trying to utilize the most advanced technology to make a player piano. One of the things that we've added to our player piano, which is it's called Steinway Spirio, we can actually connect two pianos together anywhere in the world. KMFA uh, radio station has one of these pianos. In fact, they're one of only two radio stations in the United States that has a Steinway Spirio. Another thing the latest models of the Steinway Spirio player piano can do is accompany a video performance, like this one from the 1986 Vladimir Horowitz concert upon his return to Russia. Matthew Bird of Steinway says technology can't solve one problem. There aren't that many piano tuners anymore. So Steinway is connected to an apprentice program to train the next generation of piano tuners. Links are on the Staccato page at kmfa.org. That's Staccato. I'm Judlin Gibson on the Second Street Dreams audio network on secondstreetdreams.com.